Hey, everybody, what's up? So, um, well, here's the thing. First of all, yes, I am wearing a hoodie because, um, well, it's getting pretty cold out here and, uh, well, a minute ago there was some winds, so I felt the need to protect my, uh, my ear and the top of my head. Right now, I guess I can take this off. Uh, much better. Yeah, things are getting colder. Things are getting shorter and the nighting longer. That's what happens in the winter time, but... Yeah, back to the main subject. Today I was supposed to meet up with my dad again. Hold on, I'm just get rid of the clock. We were supposed to do a bunch of things together, but... Uh, ultimately, it didn't... came to pass. It, so certain things just didn't fall into place uh, properly and uh, ended up waiting waiting for him for nothing so also I looked outside in the sky there's still a little bit of light right before I left my apartment so uh, I figured I should uh, take this time to start working on this on this video on this episode today also, I mean, uh, again, looking at the sky, it looks like it's going to start raining any second now, so I figured I might as well um, get on with an episode before that happens. Because I really don't want to be caught on in the rain with one of those episodes. Not really sure what I'm going to do once the rain actually starts, like, every day. That's going to be challenging. No doubt about that. It's going to be very challenging. But... I think I'll find a way. Maybe I'll just... Uh, try to stay underneath a few buildings. Because obviously I won't be able to uh, hold the phone... And the camera... And an umbrella. All at the same time. So yeah. Gonna have to get very creative with that. Or just, you know... Go a few days without doing these episodes. Only problem is, what am I supposed to do then? Well, I suppose I could just stay at home and work on videos that way. But again, that's uh, we still got a few days until the heavy rain, a heavy, heavy raining days are gonna start. But I don't know why, but for some reason this ghost event is still going on, even though Halloween was almost a week ago. Yeah, times are moving fast, but not for Pokemon Go, it seems. We're still stuck on this. But, I mean, if anything, I would assume this is the last day, right? Hold on, let me just check. Okay. Dusk go. Don't get me wrong though. I am full. I am really enjoying. Um, yeah, it ends in almost 11 hours. I'm still really enjoying the whole uh, double the candy for uh, catching Pokemon and uh, transferring them, but getting a little tired of. Uh, seeing all these ghost Pokemon all over. I mean, I'm pretty much sure I already have almost every possible shiny for all the ghost types that are appearing. I mean, I have a couple of shiny Bayonets and, uh, and, um, Shuppets. What is wrong with that dog? Can you guys hear it? I'm going crazy. Yeah, I have a shiny uh, Dusk Noir that I evolved from a Dusk Skull that I caught a while ago. I did catch uh, a drift loon and evolved it. And also yesterday I caught a shiny uh, Misdreavious. So the only shiny I ghost heavily featured in this event that I don't have. Oh, and I also have a bunch of uh, shiny ga Gengars, but that's from the other uh, community day. I think it's starting to rain now. I think I, I think I felt a drop. 
maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. Would have seen a, lot of, a bunch of drops on the floor if it started raining. But, yeah. So the only shiny ghost type that I don't have from this event specifically is, um, yeah, Mask and Cuff Grievous. And the Litwick family, but I'm not really sure that, um, those shinies have been added to the game yet. Hmm. Because I haven't seen anyone featuring any shinies. And you know when someone has a shiny, they gotta uh, show it off to the rest of the world by putting them in uh, gyms or uh, using them in the Go Battle League and stuff like that. I haven't actually used... I haven't actually battled in the Battle League for months now. You look at that, a Mega Gengar. Nobody's challenging it, so I'm not going to challenge it either. You don't, one does not simply go into a mega battle, to a mega raid battle, on their own. Now do they? So, yeah. Considering this event is now ending, let's see which Pokemon we can find from this. The, uh, weekly, uh... A weekly reward thing. I mean, it's got, it's, it's not a, it's probably not a Shedinja anymore because that was over. I might have gotten a notification about the new one, but I might have for, just forgotten. So let's check it out. Yes, yes, I got some rewards. Thank you, thank you very much. Ooh, a Togetic! That's awesome! Finally, a Togetic! Hold on, hold on. That's a Pokemon I don't have yet! It's great! Yes, and I caught it. That's great, that's awesome. Yep, new Pokemon registered to the Pokedex. See, the thing is, I have a Togepi that I can't evolve because it's an event Togepi. I was so excited to finally have one. I mean, I think I got it from a mission that specifically gave out a Togepi, and you have to evolve. You had to evolve it as part of the mission. But guess what? I couldn't evolve it because it's an event Pokemon. An event Pokemon can't evolve for some reason in this game. But yeah, now I have myself a Togetic. Uh, it was, it was, it was back in the day when. Uh, uh, it was a very short period of time where you can actually get um, baby Pokemon that are hard to, to find from uh, eggs. 5 kilometer eggs or, or 10 kilometer eggs, I can't remember. But yeah, people were getting uh, like uh, Cleffa and Iglybuff, you know, Pokemon that uh, you can only obtain through eggs, you can't find them in the wild. And I got a Togepi and just, it just so happened that I got it during, then it hatched during one of the spring events. So it has like a crown of flowers on its head. And it can't be, I can't evolve it. Which sucked. It's also a very good thing that I caught it still on the last day that, um, dang it, I should have used a pineapple berry. Ah, oh. ah, oh, damn it. But if we're getting it every week now, throughout the month, maybe I'll have my chance of getting multiples of these. Where is it? There it is. See? They're right next to this, this hat wearing Pichu. It's kind of cute though. But this one, I, this one can be evolved, but I think I already have a much better one. See, it's a Togepi wearing, wearing some flowers on its head, but, um, yeah, as you can see, most of the candies here I got from uh, the egg when it hatched. Got a bunch of other candies from feeding a bunch of other Togepi and toge cases, toge sticks, I should say, in gyms. Because yes, you can get candy from that. But uh, yeah, that's all the candy I have. And this is all the candy that I got from it today after catching it. Hidden power poison. Hmm. 
not sure it'll be very uh, useful for this thing. I mean, this thing is weak to poison and steel and uh, those, and both of which uh, resist poison in this game. So, yeah, hidden power poison, not very useful. But anyways, that's good. As soon as I find uh, a gym that has a few vacant slots in it, I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to start feeding it. Hopefully, I'll get some candy from it. So that I can evolve it. And if not, well... There's always the, the whole fact that we're getting uh, it every week now. If we complete the... Uh, the weekly tasks and stuff, the weekly research missions, the daily research missions, I should say. Whoa. Thank you for making on my way shorter. Or maybe not. Haha. There we go. Now I don't have to go that way anymore. I think I saw something pretty big. But it's gone now. Okay, never mind. Let's go that way. So yeah. Hopefully Hopefully I can evolve it very soon. Should probably do some research on it, on this Pokemon. Cause I kinda miss those days where I just uh, these episodes were just these episodes were just me explaining and giving out random information about Pokemon kind of explaining a little bit of their lore and uh, what makes them what they are explaining why they have the type that they have and the design choices so yeah I mean it's pretty obvious right now that um, the Togekiss family are based on birds but which types of birds and why are they fairy type you know Yeah, it's, uh, it sounds like it's something that should, that, uh, would make an interesting topic for a video. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week when I get another Togi kit. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, uh, Togepi is, like, the newly born hatchling stage, because it, it just has from the egg. Still got, still got the eggshell around it. Togi Tick is uh, kind of learning how to fly, you know, because it's got early, those wings and the egg slowly started to become a part of its body. Togi Kiss is the full on bird. So, yeah. Definitely an interesting Pokemon nonetheless. And a very iconic one. Very, uh,. Controversially though, people still believe that Togepi is a Gen 1 Pokemon, even to this day. It, it is not. It's a Gen 2 Pokemon. It was just heavily featured in the first season of the anime. So, people just assumed that. But I mean, Togepi has been a main staple of the anime for years. Right up until that one episode where... Uh, Misty's Togepi finally evolved into Togetic and decided to stay in Mirage Island. A place that does exist in the games, by the way, but uh, it's next to impossible to find it. Especially these days. So, I have never been there. No, wait. It's not Mirage Island. Mirage Kingdom, sorry. Mirage Kingdom is a place that does exist in the Hoenn games, but it's next to impossible to locate. So there. Anyways, uh, yeah, we had an unexpected surprise, but a welcome one at that. Just like yesterday when I found the, uh, the shiny um, Misdrevious. That, that was fun. So, okay. I think I better start heading back home now. I mean, how long have I been recording this? 
17 minutes? I had to go for 15 minutes because I was kind of, uh, I turned the game on, the, the recording up for two, for about two minutes before I started, I started talking. Because I just, I, I wanted to make sure that the game was working, it full, the, the game was working, and there wasn't going to be any lagging shenanigans, like, uh, the recording app suddenly deciding to uh, stop working halfway through uh, the record. I'm gonna check out these gyms a bit. Okay, so apparently there is one vacant slot in here, and no vacant slots in this place. Oh, that's not really good. What's going on there with the? Uh, the Marowak's flaming bone going directly through Spiritum's head. But hey, at least it's a shiny one. A shiny Marowak. A lowland Marowak, that is. So I'm gonna go to that further gym. Put Togetic in there. Hopefully, it's gonna stay red for a while. And uh, I'll use it as a way to farm candies. Even though it's highly unlikely you'll get I'll get any candies from there. It's still a method that works. It works for me a lot. I think I got two candies yesterday. Can't even remember which Pokemon it was, but I do remember. I do remember it was definitely candy that I didn't need. So you know, candies are candies. Also, I'm getting very, very close to um, level 39, which brings me ever so closer to that elusive level 40, which is so far the final level, unless, you know, Niantic decided to change things just in time for me to reach level 40, just to mess with me, but as soon as I reach level 40, I can finally, finally Stop focusing on uh, trying to get to the top and just catching multiples of the same Pokemon just to evolve it, just for the XP, so then I can reach level 40 faster. And uh, instead, I can just focus on some some of the more important stuff, which is. Um, actually uh, powering up the Pokemon that I already have and I can save up a lot of candies for each uh, individual species now there have been rumors I've heard that Niantic is planning to uh, raise the level cap up to level 50 very soon not sure how substantiated these rumors are so I for the time being I choose not to believe them I'm gonna just send a few gifts while I'm talking because uh, clearly there aren't any Pokemon in the area. The game is just really slow, so I hope it doesn't interfere with what I'm doing. Anyways, I don't know how much I would trust these rumors that say that um, the level cap is about to be raised. I mean, it's a good it's a good idea if it, if if uh, they are planning to do it because it'll raise the maximum CP for uh, for all Pokemon but I mean it would be a dang shame if I spent all this time hmm, if I spent all this time uh, trying to get to a So level 40, just for it, for the level cap to be raised, like a minute later. But still, I think ultimately, at the end of the day, raising the, uh, the level cap was the, uh, would be a smart idea. It'll give pl players a chance to uh, make their Pokemon stronger, especially now that. Um, the Team Go Rocket leaders are getting stronger. Giovanni is slowly getting stronger in the game. 
And more importantly, now that Mega Evolutions are in the game. It might, and again, I use the word might make uh, raid battles a little bit easier for players. Especially legendaries, not too sure about mega, mega, mega raids. But yeah, I think I'm already at that place. Let's just keep going till we reach the uh, the gym. What do you guys think about raising the level cap? Is it a good idea? I think it is. You know, I don't. I don't think. Unlike some people, I don't think it's going that raising the level cap and as a result making, making it possible for a Pokemon to be. A, for our existing Pokemon to be even stronger by raising their max CP, I don't think it's going to make things too easy. I think it's just going to uh, make it a little bit easier as a way to sort of help the players a bit. But overall, I see it as a good thing. Some might disagree, but I think this is a good thing all around. Okay, so I think I'm pretty close to where the gym is supposed to be. How many how many more people have I need, do I need to send gifts to? I haven't actually sent any gifts to people in a couple of days, so there's a bit of a backlog of people that need to receive gifts from me. I think I pretty much talked about all the major points that I had to talk about in this episode again There's nothing new. There's barely any changes to the to uh, the game itself. There aren't any new events coming The uh, the ghost event is is about to end Closer to midnight tonight So uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll have an actual topic to talk about as opposed to, um, you know, just struggling for some for a topic to discuss. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna keep sending gifts to all the people that need gifts. Which sticker should I give this guy? Probably an Oshawa. This guy, this guy lives in the States, so sometimes I like to uh, give him some special s stickers as opposed to the generic usual stickers that I give everybody. Okay, I'm gonna put the, um, the Togi Tick in the gym now and uh, keep going back home. As far as I'm concerned, this episode is over. Yep, it's over. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay, a strange egg is hatching. I really hope the camera is still recording. Let's see what it is. It's a Larvitar, another one. Good. Good, good, good. We're hoping for a Bishop, but a Larvitar is a good, uh, I mean, it's a good enough. Um, compensation for it, I suppose. Anyways, goodbye. Okay, so apparently I checked and uh, the camera wasn't recording that. So I just made myself look like an idiot. That's per usual. Still, on the bright side, I'm back home and uh, now is a good, good time as any to finally finish up this episode. Good night, everybody. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.